Guys, welcome back to the channel. I thought let's do another kind of helpful, instructive, short, straight to the point video because last time we did how to blow up your biceps with some kind of unconventional tips and that was through the weighted pull up. So I thought let's do the kind of equivalent but for triceps. Now, if you guys don't know, the tricep is like, what, two thirds of your arm mass? Yeah, Isn't, like yeah so oh, I'm a big believer in working harder. I mean, smarter <laughs> instead of harder, all right? So you can work as much as you want in your biceps, but that's only like one third of the mass. So if you work on your triceps, like, you know, work on the triceps, work on the biceps, um, and yeah, like you'll get overall big arms. Anyway, where I'm going with this is, don't be doing like you, you, you do, do them if you want, but <laughs> this is gonna be way more bang for buck and you got way more potential to progressively overload through this movement, right? So our example before we used was weighted chin-ups with the biceps, right? I'm 82 kilos, that is 82 kilos plus whatever I'm pinning onto me and putting a significant amount of load through the biceps, which is gonna be way more than just like curling 12 kilo dumbbells, right? The equivalent for the triceps is boom, 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 the close grip bench press. Which we love. Woo! It's an absolute hack. I reckon when we started doing these, mate, when we found out about them from Scott Herman, the OG, yeah. godfather of exercises, the Herminator, the barbell, um, we, our triceps flew up, mate, because instead of doing like a, a three kilo extension like this, if you get good at the close grip bench press, you can be doing 100 kegs for like 10 reps. Yeah. So that is significantly more load going through the tricep. And for me, that is how my triceps absolutely blew up. Here we're, we're feeling a little bit dusty, so we're only doing 80 kilos, but a few tips for this one, Louis. What do you reckon? Yeah, um, don't keep your hands too close together. Yeah, so don't go like really close together like, like that. Yeah, I used to do that, and I just like, ruined my wrist, ruined my shoulders. Ruin your elbows. You don't need to be here on Exactly, so I'd say, go hop on here, I'll show you guys. So, Obviously here is kind of where you would grip for a conventional bench press, like a, a powerlifting style one even. Here is just, what's the point of that, bro? Yeah. So I'd kind of, where the knurling break is, I'd kind of go one to two fingers within that. Yep. You got that? And then really focus on tucking the elbows in. I remember when I started it, I would load the weight up way too high and my elbows wouldn't be tucked in enough and I'd kind of be cheating it. So you're better off keeping your elbows tucked in and sacrificing the weight because you'll get way more engagement through the triceps. Yep. So a little bonus reason why this is the most epic exercise is because it will also boost your normal bench press. We all like having a fat bench press, don't we? I mean, I like being able to say that not many people can bench more than me. Um, and so you, if you want to be the same kind of status, then I would say start doing close grip bench press because if you have real powerful triceps, like your powerlifting style bench press is just gonna go boom, 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 right? So it's a, it's a good kind of accessory. I like to do a close grip at least once a week. So a bit off topic here. I know we're talking about triceps, but for me, like conventional bench press once to twice per week, kind of twice at the moment, and then I'll do a close grip as well. So that's three times a week bench pressing. And you will notice your bench press going up heaps and your triceps getting absolutely bloody jacked Look here. Like Look at him. Not even pumped. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Trying to keep him short and sweet, just really get to the point, no blabbering on. Probably did blabber a little bit too much, but if we can hit 400 likes on this video, that would be absolutely insane. And I know like 60% of you that watch the videos, you little dogs, you don't even subscribe. Like you just come in here to get free tips and then piss off, like seriously. Dogs. It's a great free way to support the content here, guys. Um, so please subscribe to the channel. That would mean so much to me. And I'll literally give you a little kiss tonight when you go into bed. So uh, please do that. Comment down below how we can get better on the videos because without your constructive criticism, I don't know. And I appreciate all of your feedback, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. Bye.